Hey, everybody. Thank you all so much for tuning in to the second part of this episode. And if you didn't listen to the first one, stop cheating. Go back and listen to it and then come back to this one. But I know you're not going to listen to that. You're probably going to stay here and it's fine, too. So anyway, what Duke is going to talk about today is he's going to spend time basically giving you all insight into what it looks like to put on your own event. Once again, this is a guy who has thrown parties. He's throwing professional events. He's bringing all kinds of people together for different experiences. So I think he's probably one of the most credible people to give this advice. But I won't be here. This is his show. This is his moment. So y'all, listen to him. He has all the tea. I'm out of here, okay? Thank y'all. All right. Well, thank you, Juju. Um, Yeah, so you want to throw an event. Uh where do we start? I think the first thing you want to do is figure out the theme of your event. Is it just a regular party? Is it a, you know, anime party where people are dressing up as anime characters? Is it an all black party where everybody's what dressed in all black? But what's your theme of the event? And then what's the name of the event? You know, catchy name is easier to market sometimes. Cool name that that people talk about when people start talking about it. It's a unique name. People know what the event's about. They already know who who's associated with the event after you know you've thrown it a couple of times so once you have your theme and, and your name the next thing you want to do is figure out when you want to throw it right so when do you want to host this event do you want to do it on a random weekend or is it your birthday weekend because if it's your birthday weekend the people that want to support you for your birthday may come out just for that even if it even if they didn't want to come to the event they're going to come for you or is there a big concert going on and it's going to be the after party for that concert right you just want to figure out what's going on in the market what maybe there's competition maybe there's another event that everybody goes to you don't want to go on the same day as them maybe you don't care maybe you already know um but that's the next thing you want to do you want to figure out the date right so you figure out the date then uh you need a place uh this is this is where sometimes it get a bit difficult so um depending on what city you're in uh figuring out how much a venue will cost how much does it cost to rent the venue because that when you figure out what that expense is on top of your other expenses that's going to dictate you know how you promote your event how you sell your event um so you need a place right so now we have a theme we have a name of the event and how we're going to market it and the brand right we got the date and we have a venue right now you have this the other thing that you need is who what's your entertainment you know, some people, they they can promote and they're a DJ. They don't need anybody, any help. Me, I am not great at DJing. I am not great at, listen, I'm not the best with music in general. So I have two left feet, but that's another conversation. Either way, you got to get your entertainment. So is it going to be a DJ? Is it going to be an artist? Then you have that because that's what you're going to, it's going to help you market the event. Once you figure out all of those pieces and you see how much it's going to cost you to host the event, then that can really help you figure out how much, how you want to market the event. Because if it's not, if it's low cost, then maybe your event could be free. Right. Um, or if it's something that, you know, you want to cover your expenses and the, the venue fits 100 people. Right. You got to make sure that when everybody pays to get in, that 100 people gives you enough money to pay for all of your expenses, pay for the venue, pay for the DJ, pay for the flyer. Right. Which is the other thing you're going to need. You got to talk to a graphic designer, get a really cool flyer going, get some marketing going. I think sometimes events are are one of the are one of the things that people do ch judge the event by its cover or judge a book by its cover with events. If that flyer, you know, isn't telling a great story, people may not be interested in it, right? So you want to get that. So once you once you can calculate what all your expenses are, um, from there you figure out the business side of things, and then you start marketing your event. Right, um, a great platform to use uh, for for hosting your events and selling tickets. One of my favorite platforms is called Event Noir. Um, it's a group of folks out in Chicago. Uh, they have this amazing platform where you can buy, where you could set up your events, um, ticketed events, free events, and then from there you sell tickets on that platform, and that's how you're able to bring in the money, but also continue to track your data. You know, get email addresses, get names of patrons, so that the next time you throw the event, you can let them know about it again, right? Um, so yeah, that that's how you get started. I think I just ran through a couple of things. These are all the steps just to get things going. You know, name, date, the idea, the venue, who's going to be helping you um, promote the event, who else is going to help you market the event, um, 
a platform to sell your tickets or to, to track RSVPs, uh, your DJ, and then, you know, then it's the marketing piece. That marketing piece is the most important piece. So, you know, social media, posting your flyers, sending messages to your friends, inviting them directly, right? There's so many different ways to get the word out, but that's, that's the biggest thing. If people don't know about it, they won't be able to come, right? So uh, then once you get the people there, it's making sure everybody has a great time um, and you've thrown your first event. All right, well, I hope you learned something new uh and yeah check us out uh on blackhealthconnect.com uh or check me out uh, on my social media it's my full name drew class d-u-c-l-a-s uh charles c-h-a-r-l-e-s um or if you want to come to one of our events check us out at the paradigm group all right that's p-a-r-a-d-i-m-e anyway see you later bye